welcome to another in uh, my series on preparing uh, students for C6 geography. Geography made simple. Uh, today we'll be looking at another uh, uh, vegetation type. Today we'll be looking at uh, savannah grassland. What are savannah grassland? Characteristics of the vegetation in savannah grassland. Uh, you know, where can they be found? Examples. Savannah grassland is found uh, just beside uh, tropical uh, rainforest and it's, it's found in between tropical rainforest and desert right it's found between uh, 23 degrees north and 23 degrees south of the equator right uh, so beside every tropical uh, rainforest you normally have a tropical grassland tropical grasslands are found in uh, South America it's found in Africa and some sections of Jamaica Cuba small section of Dominica Republic tropical grasslands are found tropical grasslands are found between the tropic of Capricorn and the tropic of Cancer points to note the, 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 the tropical grasslands found in like, let's say and Africa and some sections of uh, South America are different in construct in characteristics than that found in um, areas in Jamaica as you all know Jamaica doesn't really have a desert and one of the pointed characteristics of a tropical grassland is that it's normally found in between right it's normally found in between tropical uh, rainforest and tropical grasslands let us look at the climate let us look at the climate of the tropical grassland now tropical grassland is heavily influenced by trade winds now whenever the trade winds blow offshore let's say from out from from the land to the sea you normally experience you normally experience a very dry um hot condition whenever the trade wind blows from the sea inland you normally have a wet condition overcast low depression uh heavy rainfall uh, uh tropical rainforest normally experience rainfall every single day tropical Rainforest normally experience rainfall every single day. However, tropical uh, savannah grassland doesn't experience rainfall every single day. The ITCZ and the, the, the conditions, let's say, for, for rain and for moisture, for heavy, intense rainfall within, uh, let's say, the, the, the tropical, within the tropical savannah grassland, it coincides with the ITCZ. So both the ITCZ is actually occurring while uh, rainfall is occurring within the tropical savanna grassland. Now rainfall normally occurs within the tropical savanna grassland during period in which we will refer to as a hurricane season. Now the hurricane season is different from the wet season in a sense slightly different. Uh, I, I will share that with you in a bit. Now the hurricane season la I think it's between June and November. Now the, 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 the rainy season for tropical grass savanna grassland is normally between uh, May to October. Now, initially, at the first part of the tropical uh, hurricane season, you normally, not, the, the activities are not normally that pronounced. It is when you reach like September, October, then now you have more um, intense weather condition within uh, the, the tropics. Now, let us look at some of the characteristics of tropical savanna grass grassland you know vegetation okay first and foremost uh as it says tropical savanna grass uh grassland uh the, the grass itself grows like three four meters high right the grass grows in what you call tussocks something the bulbs like right normally what happen um during the dry season is that the grass actually become dry right however uh, the grass is not dead. It's just become dry because it is trying to save on moisture. It grows in tussocks. It grows very tall. And the tree that exists within tropical uh, savanna grassland are several meters away. They are also very short in comparison to uh, that found in the uh, tropical rainforest. Now, uh, one unique thing about the, the tropical savanna uh, grassland trees are that they have an Acadia type of shape looking like an umbrella and this umbrella shape um, help to protect the, the tree roots from the, the from the heat uh, because a tropical rainforest um, unlike tropical savanna which actually get a lot of rainfall tropical savanna grassland doesn't get all that rainfall right is um, sometimes very hot 
and, and dry. Okay, periodically you will have rainfall which will actually um, come from the river or actually um, come from, you know, rainfall which influence the, the, the flowing of rivers and, you know, water holes. Alright, you have several animals existing within tropical savannas. Now the trees, as I said before, are scattered. They are not near to each other. They are several meters away. And the uh, points to note are that some of these trees and some of these grass tussocks, they have some little bulb like uh, B, bulb, bulb, B A O B O B types of root, wherein it, it, it is, um, it, it actually stores water for that period of time when um, it, it, it is very dry. What happens is that the, 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 the vegetation, whether it be grass or a tree, have some mechanism so as to preserve water. For the, the grass and the tree, you might have the, the leaves are very thin, are very small. This limits the amount of evapotranspiration which occurs um, out there um, in, the, in the open. As the sun, as the sun um, energy beats on the the vegetation, you know, evapotranspiration, the, the movement of moisture as a result of evaporation and transpiration from the plant leaf upward. Uh, this is minimized with the, the small size of the of the leaf. Also, the, the bark are very thick, which actually protect the tree, the tree roots, the tree itself from um, forest fires. Now, I point to note, within the tropical savanna grassland, you tend to have a lot of bushfires. Right, and these bushfires occur normally during the dry season, right? And during this dry season, bushfire come and they actually wipe out uh, several vegetation. And within no time, rainfall, they just come back up, right? Because the, 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 the vegetation have a mechanism wherein it, it actually becomes docile, as I say, dormant for a while. And then as soon as water or uh, the time becomes, um, you know, just right for it, it will just spring again. The ecosystem of a tropical savanna grassland depends heavily on rainfall, moisture. Without, with the absence of rainfall, with the absence of rainfall, practically all life ceases to exist. Uh, animals, whatever exists there that is of life form, right, uh, will, that can move, will actually move to other areas, right. You have seen on several different geographical channels where they actually share. Uh, animals actually moving in search of water as soon as the rainy season comes uh, in a particular area the animals actually comes back so as to enjoy the lush green nature of the, the scape and also to consume the water that exists within water hole and alongside rivers as soon as the dry season actually occurs the rivers might dry up and form a string like a, a, a spring like stream or uh, probably nothing on at all and the, the, the water hose might end up dry up. Also, dry season within this area usually lasts between November, uh, let's say November of uh, 2019 to April 2020. You know, from November one year to the, to April the next year. All right, that's that's the the length in which the dry season normally lasts. I notice how it coincides with um, the hurricane season actually starting in June. However, in May in the tropics you normally have what you call the May rain. Highest temperature within this area is normally uh, within the, the the May May period. Right, the wet season for the tropical savanna grassland is normally between May and October. Now, the nearer you are to the equator. Uh, that means that you're going to be experiencing, or as should I say, that area would experience more rainfall than if you are further away from the equator. What happens is that the equator uh, is that the equator that you have most heat, and with heat comes evapotranspiration. With evapotranspiration comes the, the whole idea of moisture moving up in the atmosphere, resulting in condensation, resulting in cloud formation, resulting in rainfall. Deserts have longer, drier seasons deserts remember i said at the initial onset that between a rainforest tropical rainforest and desert you and the desert you will find a uh, tropical savanna grassland now the deserts for the desert the desert experience a longer dry season than uh than the tropical savanna grassland right they have a very long dry season and a very short wet season yes rain do fall in desert now uh, vegetation in vegetation in tropical savanna grassland varies from lush green um, three meters, four meters, five meters tall grass uh, with trees up to uh, 
10, uh, yeah, 10 to 15 feet tall, having a, having a Akeda uh, shape type of um, canopy, which protects the, the, the roots, um, to uh, a, 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 a look where in it you, you, you don't see much um, grass, you don't see much vegetation, and you have wooded areas that is near streams, river, or water holes. Rainfall within tropical savanna grasslands are usually unpredictable and as a result of this you find that plants as I said before have mechanisms so as to preserve water should in case um, it becomes um, the area becomes dry and there is no water for growth or for survival of the specific vegetation. Okay, um, bearing in mind as I end, now tropical savanna grasslands are the size of tropical savanna grasslands are on the decline. Why? Because a lot of tropical savanna grasslands are being uh, adjusted so as to fit agricultural needs. Persons are actually using them as agricultural pastures. Thus, the, you know, the, 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 the area is being destroyed. Also, persons are using them to construct roads to connect from one area to the next. In addition, persons are actually using, uh, or should I say governments, are actually using uh, tropical savanna grassland areas so as to build houses, buildings, and infrastructure for development of their specific country. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope that this video was informative. Uh, hit the subscriber button and there are more information to share as we together try as best as possible to prepare you for c sex cxc bye bye for now